Hi, I'm Jessica. This is my first time vlogging and um, I'm using my arm because I don't have a selfie stick. And right now I am gonna go down and um, see my horses. And I've gotta cut the bale open because it got pushed up in the snow and it makes it really hard to get the hay off of the bale. Dog. Abner, what are you doing? Good boy. Can you sit? Oh, what a smart dog. What a smart dog. Horses. Hey, girls. So, this is Snowball. She's lovely. She is 25 years old this year. Same age as me. This is Shady. She's 10. And I have another horse, Lightning lives over in a pen by herself because she needs to eat more than the other horses so she gets a whole bale all to herself. Actually I have to fill the water trough first because it is almost empty. So I have this really super fun time getting water for the horses because this wet house is super old and kind of scary. You have to like peel back all this stuff to get the hose turned on. I'm just gonna skip past this part. Okay, so I got the water turned on and the trough is filling up. And we're just gonna wait for that because I forget about it all the time. Well, this is a cool little tidbit for anybody who doesn't live in a really cold climate where they gotta keep the uh, stock tank uh, thawed out and free of ice. We have these um, plug-in heating elements and it heats up the whole trough. Excuse the dirt in it, but they, uh, they eat their hay and then they come and put it in the water and I can't clean it in the winter because I'm not going to freeze and pour ice all over, water all over. So I just let the other mares in here to hang out with Lightning for a bit so that they can eat that and then uh, I'll go finish cutting open that other bale. But they'll eat here for a couple hours and then I'll bring them out. Snowball with the white bum over there. She eats too much and uh, makes herself really sick, so I can't leave her in here with this big thing. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Okay, so we're on our way back over to the other hay bale where we will cut it open. And I'll show what I mean. Because when the tractor pushed it, it pushed up like a great big pile of snow underneath it and makes it really hard to unravel. This is Boss Hog. Boss, 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 boss. Actually, we'll get his water first. I usually just take it and scoop some right out of the horse trough. And that'll last him until tomorrow. Now, I already fed Boss today, but because we're here, we might give him another snack. This is his water dish. Drink it all. And I just gotta put some in there and shake it around because it gets all full of straw. Oh, I'm not good at vlogging. So hopefully, this isn't too shaky and terrible. I guess it all comes with practice. Don't walk in it, boss. The boss gets all the table scraps from our house, uh, not meat. Even bit keeping the pigs meat. And boss is a potbelly pig, so we don't eat him. He's solely solely here for our enjoyment and loving. Are you a good boy? Let's see if I can get him to um, 
stretch out. He really loves having his belly scratched. Okay, I'll switch the camera. So, he gets scratching. Come on, boss. Oh, he doesn't want to do it because he's on camera. But he's super lovely. Very nice little piggy. Right. Yeah. And he's happiest when he's eating. Here's this hay bale. And there's all the snow built up at the base of it because it got pushed. And it's super hard to unwrap. So I'm going to cut it. And we'll see if it makes it any easier to flip off big chunks. Because I just throw it over this fence. And then the horses get to eat it. And this is an electric fence, so they don't even think about going past it. So, I got it like kind of peeled back, but now I need the pitchfork. And this is how redneck I am. Pitchfork is my uh, phone holder. <laughs> so, you're gonna miss the next part, but I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so I got it mostly done. There's, see how much nicer that looks? And you can see this. Big bank of snow that was built up against. Now that I'm all done, that I'm gonna go catch Snowball and Shady, take them out. Boss, say hi. Because <laughs> I thought that was gonna take me longer than it did, but it didn't. It's still light out, so got a few more minutes left to get them back over onto their side of the fence. The moon is actually already up and the sun is setting. So I got everybody back where they're supposed to be and I'm going back to the house.